okay. Uh, hi. What the- hang on. <laughs> Let's just kill this real quick. Should be a long shot. I was- I heard the mating call while I was running down here, but I was getting my uh, OBS set up to record a video. <laughs> what the heck? Basically, you guys have seen the title and the thumbnail already, so there's no point hiding it. We're gonna do the Hirschfeld missions, and there's an albino fallow deer at the end of one of the uh, mission sets. I think it's actually this one, and we're on number four, so it shouldn't actually take us too long to get through them, but I look up and there's an alert level three road deer just standing right there, so I don't know if this can make diamond or not because of the new uh, scoring, but it's a good road deer. I haven't shot a big one. Uh, in the new scoring system, so that's a diamond. That's a big one, too. 34.71. Barely a diamond. But, uh... Yeah. That just happened. Anyway, here's my theory. Uh, the mission is to take a picture of a fallow deer from within 50 meters. I just figured the easiest way to do that was hunt their drink time and run down this river because there's a lot of fallow deer this way, and I'm pretty sure these are all fallow deer missions, so I figured we'll be able to just shoot them as we go along, because some of them are going to be photography missions, but that's a heck of a start. But on with the mission, we have to take a picture of a fallow deer from under 50 meters. I believe I can hear one coming in, so as long as we just get a picture of it, that'll complete that. And I don't want to shoot anything till I see what the next mission is. we got to go to windmills. Now, there's actually a bigger fallow buck up in here somewhere. I saw level 4. Which I'd like to get because he was max estimate. But I did actually have him alarmed, so he may have spooked. I'm going to hang out and see if he shows back up because I would definitely like to get him. And since we're sitting here calling anyway. Yeah, there he is. Oh, he's nervous. I guess he did spook and he came back. He's alert. So we'll just get him with the M1. But the start already is just insane. We just have a diamond road ear come running across. The only reason is I reset the time to go to fallow drink time and then he was moving zones, I think is all that happened. He just happened to be crossing right in front of us, but we got that guy. Uh, let's see what the rest of the mission is real quick. We got to harvest wildlife down with a scope weapon from a hunting stand. So let's see where that's at. I turned dialogue on, but she's actually not talking to us so far. Hunting stands are probably going to be one of these two spots. I'm thinking we're going to leave it at Fallow Drink Time, actually, because we may be able to call some in from the river. So that's going to be the plan. That might be useful. So the issue was the tower that was by the water faced away from the water. So all the Fallow Deer that I managed to call in actually spooked. But I'm thinking I'm actually going down to the other tower, which isn't really close to the water, but... I changed the time to their feed time. This area is more open than I thought it would be. And I was gonna hopefully just find fallow deer, but I'm gonna start calling that. Because the tower's not that far away. And if there's no fallow deer, maybe we can at least get the fox. Eh, it looks like the fallow deer got here first. I had a mating call for them too. And the fox is pretty little, so let's go ahead and get that buck. I wouldn't mind trying to get the fox too if I can. Just because I've been looking for a diamond fox and respawns would be good, but he didn't slow down enough to really get a decent shot at him. But that should get that part of the mission done. Not too bad though, we've ended up with two good fallow bucks. Did that not? Okay, it did work. So, next one is two fallow deer down with a 243 and earn gold or higher. So I think, hi. Because of the way the missions tend to work, actually had I used the 243 on that one we just killed, it may have worked for it, but it's their feed time. So we'll go to some of the other fields and give that a look. Okay, I know some of these can make gold. I just shot a level three gold last night and when they're the max weight estimate, it's at least a good chance. And those antlers, I think, I think are the same ones that I had when that one made gold. And I'm just like not seeing any good ones. I'm up here in the north, if that gives you any idea of how few good sized fallow deer I'm seeing, because this is not an area I tend to check, but I'm hoping he'll slow down and give me a shot. If he doesn't, uh, I mean, he's either going to come back or 
hopefully we can catch him into that next field, but I guess we'll kind of pick up the pace and stay with him. But I hope that guy makes it, because I still need another one after that. I think they're coming back, and I'm not really in a good spot. Is that him? Yes. I just need a lung or neck. I felt really confident we could get that. So hopefully he makes it. Like I said, I know it's possible for these threes to make gold, but I would say it's rare, but I'm hoping. Hey, there we go. So we still need another, but glad that guy actually made it. My goodness, finally. I hope that's going to make it because it's not a big four, but I'll show you when we harvest them. Just how long it's been since we started doing that mission. And I think we finally have it. And it's literally at a lake where I always go for fallow. I just didn't come here because I shot all the fallow bucks here yesterday. And I kind of didn't think they would have respawned yet. But evidently at least that guy has. And I have alerted him because I'm a little closer than I thought. But we'll make sure we get a good broadside shot. Because the last thing I'm going to do is mess this up. Like, I have been after just another gold fallow... I don't know how long it's been since the last one, but I do know how long it's been since we started the mission, and it's a while. But that should be a nice long shot. And hopefully he's a gold. Like, the fact that level 3s make it is encouraging, because it used to be that not all level 4 Philo made gold, but I'm really hoping he is, because this has taken so long. He's actually smaller than the level 3, weight-wise. And he just made it. He's like 1.3 above. And that completed the mission. But just to show you, uh, in the latest harvests, this is the fallow buck that completed the previous mission. Harvested at 4.41 p.m. This one is 6.07. So an hour and almost an hour and a half <laughs> until we got two gold fallow, which we did doing the first two missions. So go figure. But anyway, next mission is what are we doing going to Schoenfeld and harvest two animals down from a ground blind all right we'll have to look and see that's up here I know fallow rest up here and they're about to start resting and I think that's gonna be our only spot so we'll give it a shot Fox should be resting as well maybe we'll just be able to do that easily I hope so but Actually, we will have spooked. There was a smaller fallow buck up here uh, that I saw first. He would have ran this way. It would certainly be nice if he's just chilling out there where we can get him from the blind because it's not far away. Ooh, that might actually work. He is right there. Let's get in here. All I need to do is, like, get a decent hit in him. Doesn't really matter if I drop him. Oh, is he going to stop? No. All right, got him. So... Hopefully this one goes a little smoother, and we can find something else. I don't know if I should sit here and wait. I think I'm going to get out and kind of just look around. Maybe we'll go claim that fallow and see if there's anything we can call a little closer. But I'm hoping either fallow come rest nearby or, or that guy standing right there. I just hope he doesn't go too far away while we're trying to get back in the blind. Okay, so he's back here. I can see him. Just need to hopefully get a shot in. Like, he's trotting. I don't know where he's trying to go. So if I can get any shot at him, I'm going to go for it. would love to get him walking, but I need him to clear that. Nice. Well, that took not even close the same amount of time, but... I think we kind of earned that from how long the last one took. Actually, a max weight pig track there as well, which I wouldn't mind checking out, but that's going to be one for that. Just want to check really quickly how fresh this is. Very old. All right, well, I'll come back for that later because the rate this has been going, I don't think we have time to be checking out other animals, but definitely I'm going to look for like a wild boar zone somewhere in here. But there's our second one. And something about a river. We're going to Hirschdorf River. Three fallow deer. Okay, where is that? Hmm. I mean, I know fallow drink in here. We're pretty much at the end of fallow drink time. 
Maybe we can go and get one and then change the time. That would be a smart decision to try to do that. Or maybe we can take advantage of the M1 and quite possibly get all three right now. I mean, they're standing in a line broadside. It's just a matter of really well-executed shooting because, well, really it's recoil management and shooting. But we can definitely do this. I think double lung shots will drop them. So we just need to hopefully like get the opportunities with them moving out of the way and stuff. We're going to try it. Let my breath calm completely down so we have as much as we can get. Okay, we got two. Can we get a third here? Oh, if she cooperates. I mean, that's going to be intestines and kill her, so that should work just fine. So just to clarify what's just happened, it took an hour and a half to do mission number six. Missions number seven and eight took a total of ten minutes. Like, go figure. But actually then, we'll claim this female. But actually then, we got all these in front of us, so maybe this next mission is going to happen really fast, depending on what it needs. Let's see. Fallow deer downed at night, at least 150 meters away with a 270. Fallow drink at night as well. So this should be very, very doable. Um, I think... What would be the most open area? Maybe here? So we'll go make it night, we'll go back and grab the 270. And this one should be no problem, and then the mission after this should be the one with the albinos, so... I think we should be pretty set to go here. I'd say that guy right there will work just fine. Now, they're actually feeding. I was wrong about their drink time. Um, I was thinking they drank from 1700 to whatever it is, 21, but it's their feeding, actually. So kind of lucky this dude just happens to be here. Actually, there's a slightly better one there, so I think we'll get him instead. But that should be no problem completing that mission. But yeah, over 150 meters, that should be all good. And I think we're finally on to the mission that we came here for. Yeah, an albino... Where's that going to be? Down there. Now, is there a time for this? It just says to travel there and harvest the deer. So... I don't know what the terrain's like down there. But I'm thinking... It's just going to be near there somewhere. Right now they're feeding. I don't know if I want to shoot it at night, but I guess it gets in the trophy lodge either way, so... We'll head there, and the wind is blowing kind of southwest, so we want to approach from probably down here, I would say. It's going to be a further walk, but the wind should be better. I would say that's going to be him. Yeah, it actually, for some reason, shows albino fallow deer in his spotting icon. But I literally just assumed he would be right by, like, the, um, the actual landmark thing, and he totally is. So I still have the 270. We'll actually scoot a little bit closer and get that waypoint off our screen, but kind of cool we can see that he is, in fact, albino even at night. So I'm going to not spot him when we shoot him, just so it's more visible uh, on the video. But that's very cool. All right, let's see if we can get that. Should be a nice lung hit. Didn't get to recover to spot him, but he is already dead, so just to uh, to clarify, less than 30 minutes from the time we did the last bit of that mission that took forever, and then complete the albino fallow that I came here for, so that one thing that really took forever was the only really difficult one in this entire set, and it wasn't even that bad, it was just bad luck. And he actually did not die in a bad spot, so let's actually turn tracks off. That was really nice of him to actually give us a good screenshot after everything we've been through today. Let's get this kind of more like this. I'm trying to get all the grass down and show off that nice albino. I'm not sure if I've killed an albino buck before. I think I have at least on a beta, but... Kind of cool they give you a good size for as well for this mission. 222.9 trophy rating gold. Just a really nice looking deer. 
kind of cool to shoot him with the 270, though. This wouldn't have been possible in the past. The 270 was not ethical for them, but we'll send him to the lodge. And we actually have two animals to throw in there because we got the diamond road to start with as well. But I think that's going to end up being a really good place to put him just on this full body platform here. And it only makes sense to put the road ear in the same room. I mean, we shot them in the same hunt. Just makes sense. Have the diamond road ear in the same room as the albino fallow, which, to be fair, was always going to be spawned. It wasn't like a lucky find, but still really cool. Actually, not bad start the video with a diamond road ear. And with the albino fallow for the mission, but yeah. I think that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.